Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest B-release security update for Windows 11 24H2, which is our latest Patch Tuesday update for April 2025. And the Patch Tuesday updates that rolled out on the second Tuesday are mandatory compulsory updates, as you may well know. So if we head to update history, the latest patch now is KB50552523. Now, there's quite a lot going on in this update. And first of all, just to discuss the security issues that the update has patched. For Windows 11 version 24H2, there are 66 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. 30 are rated important and 3 are listed as critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And those three critical are all remote code execution vulnerabilities that have been fixed. So quite an important security update that has rolled out. Now, the security update will also include improvements that were part of this update, KB5053656, which rolled out on the 27th, 28th of March depending on your region, and this was our optional C-release bug fix update. So if you didn't install this update, those bug fixes and improvements and features will be carried over into this Patch Tuesday update, as you may well know. Now, I did post a whole video on KB5053656. Uh, it included a couple of new features, quite a lot. And I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen because um, it will give you more in-depth information. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Now, first of all, it improves the Windows search on Copilot Plus PCs. It includes improvements for Copilot Plus PCs with live captions. So those improvements will apply to live captions. It enables the gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard it adds a new emoji panel system tray icon on the taskbar which i haven't received yet because most of these features as i mentioned with that optional update video are rolling out gradually which microsoft for whatever reason likes to do so if you are using the emoji panel you'll see a little hot kind of system tray icon here with a little heart in it and if you're not using the feature you can turn that off in these settings which I think is great. It includes a bunch of voice access improvements and voice access obviously is an accessibility feature. It includes support for lock screen widgets on devices in the EEA. An icon will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports Windows Studio effects. And if we head over to the task manager, it changes the way task manager calculates CPU utilization. And there are two deprecations. The first is it deprecates suggested actions and it deprecates the location history feature. So if we head into our settings, and we head over to privacy and security, location, and we scroll down. We can see that the location history that used to be on this page has now been removed. And location history, which as you can see has now been removed, was part of Cortana. And as you may well know, Cortana is no more on Windows 10 and Windows 11. That was that was deprecated quite a while ago. And it also included plenty of important bug fixes that are taking place under the hood. Too many to mention for this video. Go check the, the previous video out if you'd like some more information. Now, some other little tweaks and adjustments uh, the update has made, which have been pushed out kind of very gradually over the last couple of days, I have noticed, and I've posted on these is that if we head back into our settings and we head to our system page, you'll see on this page, we now have AR components where you can view AR components that are installed on your PC. And I think these AR components will mainly 
B4 Copilot Plus PCs. I don't think your so-called normal PCs would get too many AI components. But nonetheless, this is a new page in the settings. And it will let you view and uninstall certain AI components from the OS. And just to mention some of those AI components, those would be image search, content extraction, semantic analysis, and that's all Copilot Plus PC features. So it would be affecting more the the Copilot Plus PCs than your average so-called PC as mentioned. And then over and above that, if we head into our system page once again, and we scroll down and we head to the about page, you will now see your new top cards that it's also been progressively rolling out. And I did post on this, so I think I'll just leave that video linked down below in the end screen, but it does give you a nice quick view of key specifications like your storage graphics card installed RAM, your processor that are found in the actual device and the OS. And I think if you are a average Joe, you know, somebody is not tech savvy, these quick reference cards, I think are definitely a step in the right direction. Go check that other video out for more information. And then over and above those new features and fixes, there are three improvements and fixes that Microsoft has rolled out with the actual update itself and with our patch Tuesday update and I'm just going to mention these the update addresses an issue affecting machine password rotation in the identity update manager now this is mainly affecting corporations and enterprises but this was a known issue so I'm just going to mention it and this issue occurred particularly when Kerberos was used and credential guard was enabled potentially causing user authentication problems and then there's also a daylight saving time update for the AZN region in Chile to support the government DST change order in 2025. That's rolling out across Windows across the board for Patch Tuesday. And the update addresses an issue affecting the PCA UR ARM update feature, which results in unexpected behavior in specific scenarios. So those are a couple of extra fixes and improvements that have rolled out. And if we head to Winver, just to get our about Windows and build upgrade for Windows 11 24 H2. OS build is now sitting on 26,100.3775 after this update has been applied. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.